Hey, hey, everybody, it's Eddie from Tokyo. This is your cryptocurrency update from Japan. And if you are wondering what's going on in the market, you definitely want to always pay attention to the inflows and the outflows. And we have some new data, the latest data coming from CoinShares. And it shows that their US institutional investors are sitting on the fence, which means they are not really doing anything. In fact, only 1.58 billion changed hands from July 5th to July 9th. And within all of their products that they offer, they have a multi-asset product that is spread out among different uh, cryptocurrencies. 16.5% of their assets under management are represented in that class of uh, product offering. The flows were slightly higher there. So there were some inflows in comparison to the other products that they offer. So what that tells us is that the institutional investors are spreading out their risk. Uh, they are really not making any moves with the weak volume that is being transacted right now. And there is just an accumulation period happening with Bitcoin. So until we see some action happen in terms of volume or we have a big uh, buy which there is a rumor out there that apple is going to make a big purchase of bitcoin i'm not sure if this is a uh, rumor that we can believe it does come from from um galaxy so galaxy digital so i think that it might be for real but you know you just never know so i don't think there's going to be a lot of price action and i think we'll continue to see the whole market move sideways because we are definitely correlated to bitcoin except for hedera hashgraph wow i was taking a look to see if anybody was making any moves and yeah hbar was actually moving with a double digit gain that's fantastic all right in this video we are going to challenge the question are you really an early adopter i know if you're watching this video you think you are but i'm going to challenge that belief and the traditional banks well one in asia is sounding the alarm it is a DeFi on the rise warning very interesting because they are a ripple net technology user and also fidelity big move is being made from fidelity that news is across the board everywhere and i think it reveals where the market is going and interview occurred with the ripple general manager ashish Birla. i'm going to share a couple of clips out of that nine minute interview and also arthur brito i think many in the xrp community know this mysterious uh, no photo anywhere online, co-creator of the XRP ledger. He has done something interesting and I'm going to share that. But first, Fidelity. Fidelity is a really big brokerage firm. They manage a lot of wealth. In fact, the granddaughter is managing after 75 years, 4.9 trillion uh, assets under management. Her customer asset value is 8.3 trillion. So it's, she is managing a lot of wealth. And her head of the Fidelity Digital Assets, Tom Jessup, made a comment actually back in April that we have reached a tipping point on Bitcoin adopting, adoption. And he made another announcement today, which filled the articles. And that was that they are adding. 100 new employees, mostly to build out new DeFi projects. So for the XRP community who was so laser focused on what PolySign was going to do, well, we now know because they're out of stealth mode and that CEO, Jack McDonald, he's been talking a lot in, of late about their DeFi focus. So DeFi is really, really coming into its own. You know, the people who have money don't sit in big cash positions. They make that money work for them. And so just like the way to build your wealth in fiat, you have the cryptocurrencies now being used as a tool 
to build that wealth on the DeFi platforms. And Arthur Brito, yeah, it's really interesting to see that, uh, well, the fact that he's only been following one person on Twitter for the longest time, that was Roger Veer. He added one more person, and that was Jack McDonald, the CEO of PolySign and Standard Custody. And I got to thinking, is this really the real account for Arthur Brito. So I did confirm that when you go to David Schwartz following list, yes, indeed, that is also an account that David is following. So I imagine it's the real deal. So what I want to really just zero in on when I talk about DeFi is the venture arm to Thailand's oldest bank today came out and made a huge statement. You know, this bank is one of the first to test RippleNet technology and use now RippleNet technology. They are very much a traditional bank. And they said DeFi will disrupt. So you see, cryptocurrency is a tool. And I think it is really being put into your hands by way of the Spark Flare token. And I will tell you that if anyone asks me if I'm selling that token, no way. I'm going to use it. And I'm going to use it first and foremost on the Flare Finance web uh, product site when they go live approximately 30 days after the Flare Network's mainnet goes live, which could be any day now. And yes, you will receive your 15% of Flare Spark tokens. So take a look at this. According to Pew Research, 52% of adults feel more comfortable to stick to the same technology. 39% want to wait and hear others' experiences. Less than one in 10 are actual early adopters. Well, when it comes to using my Flare token on Flare Finance, I don't think I'll be alone. At least I'll be one of 10 in the community, but I think you're going to have nine on the sidelines, either uncomfortable to learn the new technology or want to wait and hear the other experiences. The final list of assets to be supported on the Flare Finance has just been published and it's an amazing list. I mean, look at this. We've got ADA, we've got ALGO, BNB, Cake, Cell, Casino Coin, Do Doge, Ethereum, Flare, Gala, Gitcoin, Litecoin, Pack, couple of uh, Shiba coins, Tel, USDC, USDT, XDC, XLM, and XRP. Amazing. Just amazing. So yeah, I'm going to be building my wealth for sure. When we jump to this story, it's interesting. Ashish Birla, he's the general manager for Ripple, not Ripple X, but the, you know, the, the, the division of the company that is really, um, putting ODL in all of these corridors. He gave a nine minute and 48 second interview with the Coindesk people today, and they were all noticeably <laughs> shocked to see that XRP was the top asset on their list for Q2 performance in this sea of projects that are mostly in the red. So XRP was followed by Ethereum and ADA. And what is so amazing is that it is despite the SEC case that is still ongoing. Wow, I can't really say any more than that. And this is a portion of that uh, video that I want to play for you. It was when he was asked about the price. Have a listen. Just to, just to call it, just, it's a, kind of an amazing chart. Um, you know, you can see XRP is all the way on top there. This is a 2-2 chart, which is even more striking considering, you know, that the, the, the uncertainty around the SEC. So, yeah, I'm just curious what you would attribute this, this to. I, I'll go back to, you know, if I think anyone that's been in the space uh, for a long time, and I've been building products for a long time, the thing that I focus on is delivering customer value. And if you're looking at the price uh, day to day or even week to week, 
uh, I think you're getting distracted. So I don't look at, uh, you know, price uh, of XRP, of Bitcoin or Ethereum on a daily basis. I really look at the innovation that's happening in this space. And, you know, there continues to be strong innovation. Uh, I think adoption and liquidity will follow uh, in, in the relevant uh, cryptocurrencies and digital assets. Uh, but I think it's it's really easy to get uh, distracted by the price. And again, uh, you know, if you're in it for the long term, this is a this is a 20 year, uh, you know, ecosystem that needs to be built. Uh, we're only, you know, eight, 10 years in here. Uh, still really early uh, innings from my perspective. So we're only halfway there, everyone. And here's the second portion when he was asked about Bitcoin and El Salvador. I'm telling you, I wish everybody in the community had this big picture focus. Here we go. But is it a competitive, is it, does it put any pressure on your ability to, to do business in say El Salvador and, and, and other countries if they're adopting another platform such as Bitcoin to do remittances? Absolutely not. I think that uh, at the at the end of the day, uh, cross border. Uh, if El Salvador is accepting of cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin. I think one, it's just the start. They'll start with Bitcoin, and they'll move to other digital assets in the future. And in the second, uh, secondly, I think that they're going to need to exchange uh, Bitcoin for other assets, whether it be other fiat currencies cross border or other digital assets across the board. Uh, and, you know, NFTs could be one of them. And again, we'll be there. Uh, we have the leading enterprise solutions. So as corporations and governments uh, want to adopt cryptocurrencies more broadly, I think we're well positioned. And it's great. I think it's, a, it's an absolute benefit that El Salvador is uh, already moving forward uh, with Bitcoin. And I think they will follow suit with a number of other uh, blockchain technologies and other tokenized assets. And that is going to be great for where we're headed uh, with Ripple and RippleNet. Yep, it's going to be great where they're headed with Ripple and RippleNet. That is for sure. I wish everyone could see that. All right, so Tony and I had a really nice talk this morning, right when I rolled out of bed. So he knows exactly what I look like when I get out, out of bed. I had quite a bed head, but uh, we spoke for just about, I don't know, 50 minutes. I could have talked to him for hours. Um, we are trying to do something and we're working on something to bring uh, some value to the community. I will be the first to let you know if it happens. Um, it's just a little something, but it is, I think, going to be nice if it does happen. Um, so uh, let's just uh, keep our fingers crossed and and hope that it does. I would love to work with Tony uh, in this particular idea. So let's hope it does come to fruition. And here you have one of the most amazing new makeovers from the extra underscore hardcore, a community member that makes logos and does a lot of different types of design work. He did my uh, logo and also the header on my Twitter did that work about two years ago, I think it was. Anyway, his work is just phenomenal. And uh, Jungle Inc. sponsored a new makeover for the uh, community member. I think this is for Total Science XRP. We'll look on the, I have the, um, ex uh, the name of the person specifically who this was done for on the next tab but i'm just looking at how beautiful this is this just is amazingly gorgeous and so yeah jungle inc was the sponsor and it was for david xrp nova aka xrp total science yep there you go and congratulations to him he won that makeover and jungle inc i i told xrp are extra hardcore that I want to do a sponsor as well. And he said that I have to wait in line. I guess somebody else is going to sponsor a makeover. So as soon as uh, that is available to 
I'm, I'm in line. And as soon as I'm able to do it, I'm going to be a sponsor as well. This is a very cool website. I'm going to put a link to it in the description below. And the reason why is because you can see his portfolio of work and the work that he's done is just fantastic. Look at this butterfly business and this hummingbird. I love how these websites are becoming so sophisticated and so visually exciting. Look at just, isn't he a great designer? And I think you will see mine down here somewhere. Let's see if I go down. Oh, look at that. That is, look at with the B on the end of that sword. Wow. Uh, I think you'll see there's, there is Kick Boy Triple. Yeah, I think the zoo was one of the first ones I had seen. There is uh, Digital Asset Investors. There's Bones, 1000 Bones. There's DM Logic. There I am. So, so many. There's Working Money. There's Hodor. I'm sure you recognize lots of these. He's done a lot of work. So I can't wait to run a contest and have somebody also be able to have a makeover and uh, use his incredible creative skill to brand themselves with. It's really great. He's got some really cool music on here too. I can't play it because I don't know who's who owns the copyright for that so i will just put a link so you can take a look and listen to the music yourself and also there is zerpinator he is in the netherlands he's working on a very interesting documentary and this documentary in a short clip that we saw uploaded just about um 13 hours ago has wheats of wind so he talks about the apps that he has available in the sum app i just love his work and his team's work i I've lo i love what they've done with the sum wallet i use it a lot yes okay so uh, i'll put a link to this in the description too and we're jumping to the fluff to tell you that hokkaido is lucky to get six new manhole covers for the designs that are with Pokemon. <laughs> it's always a big deal here. This country is Pokemon crazy. We have we also have some new postage stamps that came out this week with Pokemon and some new watch, some high-end watch designs that have come out with Pokemon as well. Pokemon is is like having a big research in popularity. And if you are following this channel a lot, you'll find that I often talk about what is new inside the vending machine. <laughs> it's this country's vending machine crazy as well. And they have now fresh flowers. There's a selection that start at $5 and go up to 30 US dollars. And I think it's gonna be very su successful. It's in Shinjuku. And it is a limited time only until the 8th of September, I believe it is. So a very short period of time. And if you thought that you're looking at a different kind of floral arrangement, well, yes, sort of, kind of, maybe. This actually is food. And it was a concept brought by this gentleman. His name is Hiro Akisan. He's in Shibuya and he started a store called My Ramen. And what he's done is a ramen that is 100% vegetarian with flowers that are edible. So this is an example of his noodle dish that he makes available. I just think it's so creative. It looks beautiful too. All right, everybody, I do have more to tell you about, but I'm going to do it in a second video because there's just too much I wanted to say today for one. But I do thank you for hanging in there all the way to the end. Take care. Sayonara for now. Bye-bye.